So I went to the very expensive convenience store on campus and I bought an overpriced Band-Aid, threw it on my threw it on my knee, just washed myself off. And I remember going to this secluded part on campus. It was right underneath a tree. There was a bench there. And I just cried for that hour and a half that I was there. Every single time that I was on a date with this person, any single time that I was just spending time with this girl, I was always terrified of doing or saying something that was going to set her off. There was not a single time that I spent with her where I, I wasn't crying and where I wasn't fearing for myself. And get this, even after the car situation, I still stupidly took her back. And we were still together for maybe like a week or so after that. And then I went with her to Walmart and she got mad again at something and she drives off and I'm literally just left there stranded. So I'm walking around the store trying to figure out how I'm going to get home. I'm still living with my mom at the time, but I didn't want her knowing that any of this stuff was going on. Um, but then eventually she calls me back and says, Hey, get in the car, stupid. I'm taking you home. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And then she breaks up with me. So I didn't have that breaking point moment where I was like, you know what? I really need to get out of here. I'm done. She actually ended up doing that for me. And honestly, if she didn't break up with me, I probably would have still tried to stay with her. And the abuse definitely could have gotten a lot worse than what it actually was. And if I was still with her, this right here, this wouldn't have happened because she didn't want me making any type of musical content. She didn't want me making videos on YouTube or anything of that nature because she says that I craved attention, whatever that may mean. She said the only attention you need to be craving is mine because that's all it came down to. She didn't want me putting myself out there on the internet because she thought that girls were going to be like flocking to me, which that obviously doesn't happen. And that was another breaking point in this story because I am a musician and music and content creation at the end of the day are the things that truly keep me happy. It keeps my mental health in check. So to have that stripped and taken away from me, it honestly made me feel powerless. And even though I wasn't in this relationship that long, maybe only three or four months at, at that point, um, it still was enough to cause lifelong effects. My future relationships after that, um, I would still have the anxiety. I would still flinch any time that I thought something was going to get thrown at me. And they would look at me like, are, are you okay? Like, what's what's going on? And I, I never went to therapy for this. Um, I never got, you know, diagnosed with anything. This is just something that I thought, you know, maybe I could handle on my own. Um, and granted, you know, maybe, maybe I should go to therapy for it, you know, just to be on the safe side. But um, the, the one thing that I can say is uh, I am very, very much grateful for my wife, Claire, because I told her this story when we, when we first got together. And she has been there for me. She's been very caring, very loving, very kind. And there's ultimately a reason why I put a ring on her finger at the end of the day. She is a complete 360 from that relationship that I was in back in 2016. And every now and then, yeah, I still have some flashbacks. Uh, there are times where I get nightmares. There are times where I do have anxiety and you know waves of depression. At some point, um, I didn't like people touching me or hugging me or anything like that. But um, Claire has honestly really helped me like get through it all. So for that, I'm I'm forever grateful. And the main reason why I'm making this video today is because. I feel like there's more men out there that are probably in the same situation that I was in and they're afraid to speak up and they're afraid to tell their story.
but I just want to let you guys know that, you know, your story will be heard. There are people that are out there that will listen to you if you just reach out. Men can get hit too. Men can also be abused at the hands of a woman. It's not always the other way around. As far as my abuser is concerned, um, I have no interest in taking this to court or taking this to the law, nothing of that nature. Last time I checked, I believe she's married now. I'm not too sure if she has kids or whatever, but I hope that she was able to get the help that she needed and the help that she deserved because at the end of the day, um, she was actually a victim of abuse herself. And toward the end, she was like, look, I am emotionally, physically, and mentally abusing you. You do not deserve this. So it sucks that she continued the cycle of abuse, but, you know, she is a victim in her own right as well. And, uh, you know, I, I still don't have any interest in talking to her. She's been blocked for 10 years, and I'm just going to leave it as that, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And uh, I just uh, I wish her the best. I'm pretty sure she would probably say the same for me too. But yeah, I got no interest in speaking to her ever again. And honestly, I've been doing a lot better ever since. And for any detectives back home that are trying to figure out like who I'm referring to or anything like that, even if you do know her name, uh, I'm going to filter out her name or anything related to it in the comment section. So even if you try to comment it, it's probably not going to come out. And I'm looking, I'm not looking for any type of apology from her either or anything of that nature. The only reason why I'm putting this video out today is because I feel like it would be very therapeutic for me to finally be able to tell the story publicly. And hopefully it provides some sort of therapeutic comfort to somebody else out there. Thank y'all so much for sticking through to the end of the video. And I'm so glad I don't have to tell this fucking story again. <laughs> Oh man, it feels it feels really good to finally let this out, man. I love each and every single one of you guys. If anybody out there is going through something similar, do not be afraid to reach out. Even if it's through me, I'm more than willing to listen to your story at the end of the day. So on that note, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And stay safe out there.